What is going on guys, it is your boy Steven and in today's video I'm going to be reacting to Conor McGregor's pay-per-view Q&A talking about Floyd Mayweather. I'm not going to react to the whole thing because it's over an hour long so um, I know many people just want to see what he had to say about Floyd so that's what I'm going to be reacting to. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's go. Sloppy. Listen, Alright guys, whatever. here we go. I'm chilling right now. I have my eyes on one thing, and that's Floyd Mayweather. Okay, so <laughs> that's the thing I have my eyes let's on. Let's talk about Floyd now. Let's that's talk. Let's I finally address this. So, it starts... I'm sitting in the house. Floyd offers 15 million. Yes. Then Dana offers 25 million. I'm sitting in my house watching the millions go up. <laughs> if only life was that right. easy for everybody. This is all right. Right. Where does it stand This is right all now? right. We've got to get... Me and Floyd have got to get together. 25 to million. This is all right. The same way him and Manny figured it out. Once we come to a number... Once we come to a, a set number that I'm happy with, he's happy with, then we go to the customers, then we go to the promoters, the buyers, and then we get it done. So that's, that's next. So I'll go to Vegas, I'll handle the commission, or, or, or we'll, we'll figure that situation out, and then we'll come to a, a dotted line, and then we'll go, but this is happening. You, you talked against this. You thought this was never happening. No, no, no. What I said, just to be clear, and this isn't about me, I thought that the mainstream media who spoke about it the Monday after your win over Eddie Alvarez wasn't paying respect to the moment that was created at Madison Square Garden. I said, wait a month. It doesn't need to be talked about right now. That's all I was saying. But I've also said that it's being explored, which is what you're saying as well. But So tell me this. When you're going to Vegas, when you're going to go out there, are you meeting with Floyd? Is that set? You know... Only yes, only on Saturday, the side I was like, I'm gonna go out there. It's everything's good on the phone and that, but I need to go out there and really be in there and just get it. Cause I, since that last fight, since Christmas, since everything, I've been celebrating, I've been toasting. So I need to, I need to get my, my skin back in the game fully. I've been in the game from a distance, but now I'm gonna get back in and, and get everything set up. But that fight was more than just being explored. That fight has been, been in the works a, a, a while now so we it's man it's i hope this fight does go fight down to, guys it's the, it's the fight to make it's a fight that people want it's the fight i want it's a fight i know i'm i'm confident going in there i've got the reach i've got the youth i've got the confidence i've got the unpredictable style you can't prepare for a style like me so a, a guy said to me why conquer one world when you can conquer two so i'm gonna go conquer two worlds and at the end of the day at the end of the day, it's another, it's another day for me. Like, in all honesty, it's another day. I get a phone call, hey, Connor, you're fighting a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Okay. Hey, Connor, you're fighting a Taekwondo black belt. Okay. Hey, Connor, you're fighting a UFC world champion. Okay. Hey, Connor, you're fighting boxing's pound for pound number one. Okay. It's another day for me. I get a phone call. I get the style of the opponent, the way he fights, and then I prepare to fight him. It's another fucking day for me. So that's it. <laughs> Could Man. you make this fight without the UFC? Sorry? Could you make this fight without the UFC? I, I, I mean, I believe so. With the, with the Ali Act, I believe I can. I believe if, especially now there's offers on the table. But I think it's smoother. We're all involved. Okay. I think we're all about good business. I've done great business with the UFC, with Dana, with everyone. I think it's smoother if everyone just gets together, we get it involved. But again, everyone's got to know their place. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. What do you it. mean by that? Everyone has to know their place. I mean, everyone's got to know their place. What does that mean? It's not like... Who are you referring to? It means to? everybody has to know their place. The UFC. And now Damn, this dude is dumb. Promotions. Oh. And we're all in the mix. So that's what I'm saying. Nobody's my boss. I know Floyd likes to say, Dan is my boss in this. And he decides, hell no. Nobody decides this. If they let people go fight jiu-jitsu tournaments, they can't stop me going to fight a boxing, a boxing fight. So, obviously it's smoother to do it all together, but... Look, everyone's just got to know their place. And everyone does know their place. Low-key, everyone knows their place. So we'll figure it out. Low-key. All right, guys, that was Conor McGregor's latest thoughts on him and Floyd Mayweather fighting. Um, let me know in the comment section below who you guys think will win. I mean, I'm a huge Floyd Mayweather fan, and I am a huge Conor McGregor fan. So seeing a UFC fighter fight a boxer will be just crazy, but... I don't know, man. I honestly have no idea who would win. It's it's a fight. So, I mean, anything can happen in a fight. That's just my opinion. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, he won't last in a boxing ring. Boxing is totally different. And I 100% agree with that. You know, it's a totally different sport. Um, but you never know. It's a fight. If he gets caught one time, you know, because Conor has that reach on him, 
you never know what could happen guys but um yeah let me know in the comment section below who you guys think will win that fight i'm really like 50 50 with it you know just because floyd mayweather is a little bit older now he's like i think he just hit his 40s connor's in his you know late 20s and he has the reach so you never know but it's floyd mayweather the pound for pound greatest boxer of all time but um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you guys are new and once again thank you guys so much for watching it has been your boy steven and i'm out